Hey, sourcers and recruiters out there, Tony Steeman here, sourcing and research manager at the Nova Group, and I'm back with another sourcing tips video. It's been a while, but I love sharing new tools with you, the YouTube community, as well as other sources and recruiters out there. And today I'm taking a look at a brand new tool to the market called Find That Lead or FTL. Uh, to find out more information, you can simply go to findthatlead.com. The basic premise of this tool is it tries to help you with your LinkedIn searches to find better business emails faster through a quick Chrome um, extension. Yeah, basically a Chrome extension. As you can see, my FTL button up here, that's find that lead. It's the Chrome extension I've added on. It helps me as I'm doing LinkedIn searches to find business emails, and then they're adding social information as well. This tool is very simple to use. All you do is download the plugin. Uh, you can go to findthatlead.com. Scroll down, click download the plugin. Uh, once you hit download the plugin, it installs quickly and uh, you sign in. It is free to have, there is a free basic account, which I'll tell you about in just a moment, but then you just simply open LinkedIn, do your search. Uh, once you find candidates you would like to contact, you can click the find that lead button. It auto fills the information. Uh, you hit get contact and then it basically just uh, feeds over uh, the email address and any social information if available within the database. So it's a really straightforward tool to use. It's a Chrome extension. Uh, if you're a sourcer and recruiter, you kind of need to be using Chrome anyways. Uh, one of my favorite tools and so you simply enable it that way. Um, and it's a great tool to have in your tool belt uh, to find candidate contact information when doing a LinkedIn search. Now, let's jump down to pricing, because there is some pricing involved in this tool. The great news is if you want to try it out, you can download the basic package, which is a free permanent package. There's no limit to the amount of days that you can use it. There is a limit to the amount of daily searches. So you get 10 daily searches, but it does sync with your LinkedIn profile and obviously one maximum user. So it's really nice that they give a very transparent, straightforward package of 10 daily searches. What I really love is the affordability and effectiveness of this tool. It actually uh, gives you, for only $15, 50 daily email searches. Then you can go up to $30 for 150 email searches. And then the $90 a month, um, 600 daily email searches, uh, which if you're contacting that many as a sourcer, you're amazing. Uh, the cool thing about the large monthly subscription is it does give you the chance to upload CSV uh, documents and uh, be able to verify those in bulk as well. I will tell you I have not had the chance to upload the CSV documentation um, but you do get four users with that as well so it's a really great deal if you want to kind of go an enterprise um, enterprise route there. So I have a team of sourcers and this would be something I would go for um, because it would give us all the ability to uh, have paid access and pretty much unlimited searches for what we would use it for um, as a part of our team. I will say that Find That Lead, the company does have two tools. Uh, this is the first tool. It is the Chrome extension that I'm talking about today, but I'll be doing a review of their app as well soon. So that's uh, basic information about Find That Lead. Let's go ahead and try it out. Uh, so I'm doing a search here in LinkedIn. I do want to mention that the Find That Lead Chrome extension for the information to autofill. You can pretty much click it at any time and type in a first name, last name, and domain, which is a kind of a cool side feature. Um, but to use, utilize it with searching in LinkedIn, um, you actually have to be doing it in a basic search. It will not work in LinkedIn Recruiter for the autofill information to work. So I'm scrolling through here. I have my search results. I'm just going to pull up a profile for Berta um, right here. You can read some more information about Berta if you want to. Adjunct faculty at Roosevelt University. I just simply click the find that lead button, autofills first name, last name, and the URL, and I can hit get contact. Now I want to tell you a little bit about the coloring here. Red will indicate that they cannot find any information. Um, green, or orange will indicate that they found information, uh, but it's not verified, and they, they base confidence level depending on the amount of email addresses for that domain that they could find with the complications of uh, or how complicated the person's name is um, to, to see if there would be a likelihood of potentially other types of um, 
you know, basically like some people have a hyphen for their name, some people have a surname included, different things like that. And so they try to base some sort of a percentage on that. I can simply right click to copy and paste the email address into an email verifier, which I've already done for Berta, and found out that it was indeed a correct email address. Um, so even, even though it's not perfect with 100% verified email addresses all the time, uh, the percentages are good to at least get you down the right track to find um, the correct contact information. Now it will show up as a baby blue uh, color, kind of the same color as find that lead when you do have um, the correct verified email address. So I can simply copy that email address, also make sure that it's verified, but when it's blue I don't really need to do that because they've already done that within their database. And so that's kind of how the coloring works. Um, find that lead, it's very transparent about the information they have. They're very transparent about the fact that they're growing. I've had personal conversations with uh, some of the development team at Find That Lead, and they've been more than happy to uh, make sure that I get a chance to try out the tool and, and make sure it's a good fit as well as answer any questions. That's kind of Find That Lead. Uh, this has been Tony Steeman, Sourcing and Research Manager with the Novo Group. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please let me know if you have any questions. My email address is in the description below.